Hello, my name is Adrian Lane, um, and this is my work here. Um, my work is quite concerned with um, texture. Um, it's abstract work, obviously, as you can see. Um, the work really is that they're kind of semi-improvised in that I have a, a sort of general idea of structure that I'm working to, um, but then I will kind of throw paint at the canvases, um, pour paint on, layer them up, and then as each kind of successive layer is produced, I'll then look at it and see how I can kind of restructure it. And I think that's what I'm sort of really interested in my work is um, kind of this idea of, sort of chaos and, um, and sort of structure and the balance between the two. My name's Nick, Nicholas Dillon. Um, these are my paintings. I work in a various mediums, um, acrylic, gloss, wire, scratching, uh, audio cassette tape, um, to mention a few lights. This one's quite interesting in the fact that it's Jim Morrison, um, designed within a poem that a friend of mine wrote. Um, it's written in a, the, the words are in a Densmore font, which he was a member of the Doors. So, and I've put all these three things together and I've come up with this. Behind me is a portrait of Tom York that I've actually used Radiohead cassette tape to find the lines, uh, which is, I've never seen it done before and it's quite unusual. Uh, this, this one here is um, Kirk Bain and I've, I've kind of imprinted four sayings and quotes about being real within the canvas. Um, hello, my name's Lisa Smith. Um, I've drawn and um, sculpted all of my life. Uh, these, these two are probably um, my favourite pictures that are on display at the moment. Um, the top one, the chocolate box, uh, probably because it was a real challenge for me. I really wanted to get the quality and the silkiness of the chocolate. Um, and using the crayons, you are quite limited with some of the marks. You really have to work medium. So um, that was a good challenge for me, so I enjoyed that. And then the picture underneath um, is of my mother and stepfather. Um, they were both diagnosed with um, terminal cancer. This is a day that we had out where we was taking photos of the family, so we had um, a, a, you know, nice memories. Um, unfortunately, we lost my um, stepfather last year. My mum is still battling her cancer, so it's quite a poignant um, drawing, and there's a lot of emotion behind this piece. Okay, well, my name's David, and um, I'm married to Lisa, who is another artist shown here today. Uh, my work is behind me, it's photography. Um, I started photography many years ago, just um, taking pictures for Lisa, taking pictures of her work and we'd be out and about and she'd see things that she wanted and we would um, photograph those and then go home and Lisa would draw them and that would come her artwork. But over the years it became more of a hobby for myself. I just love the idea of being able to capture something that you'll only ever see once. You know, sort of the, the light is right, the, the temperature is right, the, the background and you see something you think wow that looks fabulous and you photograph it and that thing that was fabulous you've always got. This was, um, it's a display um, in a big house called Cofton Court which is um, up north and this was in one of their cupboards and it's pictures of people, uh, notes that people have written where they've, they've gone against authority, they've gone against the best advice of their friends and family um, and then really a lot of it is about, is about this one particularly is about marriage. Hi, my name's Mara Christie. Um, I make mosaics out of all different sorts of materials. I was fortunate to live in Botswana for five years and was very inspired and influenced by how people decorated their homes just using mud. Um, used, made beautiful artwork out of pebbles, broken crockery, tiles, and I've tried to use that as much as possible. I'm also influenced by the colours of Africa, so I've got a mosaic on, uh, inspired by African sunsets. There's usually, a, there's very often a um, kitty found in the corner of my mosaics. I like to use all sorts of materials from stuff I've collected out of skips to gold, um, gold leaf I get from the course I did in Italy. Yeah, my name's Jo Rankisu. Um, I probably started off my artistic life as a, a textile designer, but yeah, I've never really lost that sort of love for painting, and it's quite painstaking what I do. Um, you know, 
it's quite detailed and I like to work on big scale. Um, there are probably more designs on canvas, I would say, as opposed to painting. This one um, seems to get quite a lot of interest because obviously there is a lot of work in there. And um, I was inspired by a canvas on the wall of um, Cabby's flat in the film Sex in the City. <laughs> I've been probably doing art about three years. I don't really have a set medium, but oils and acrylics. I think I probably paint or draw myself the most because it's. It's the easiest thing, to take a photo and then work from that. I don't have to worry about getting someone to pose or finding the right you know, moment or anything. So that one's actually Ronald Reagan, but that was my first attempt at using a palette knife and it went hideously wrong, but it went with it anyway. That one was actually still me, but it was my hand, so I suppose technique's a self-portrait.